What up guys and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Right now we're standing on the Nexus. I'm gonna take care of a couple things here and then head back to EOS to talk to that Asari that has information on the Ark. Um, but first we gotta head to Sam. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Alright, let's play this memory. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It must have been sad. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there, alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Dad needed to hear it. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah. But when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Really? I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. All right, thanks, Sam. Goodbye. That's all for now. Of course. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Okay. All right, let's listen to this one. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. To me, that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Yes. Sam development. Right. Ellen's research. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So here's the irony: my research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me too. No, maybe about it. Hey. This is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI can actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. All right, the Geth mistake. As a Quarian and Historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was digging a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. 
The first Geth who asked us. Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. Ooh, shadow broker deal. Ryder, Barleybond says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XM7 looks for the shadow broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The council will have specters all over my ass if we catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Dang, so he, uh... He made some backroom deals, didn't he? That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Let's log off. Oh, that was interesting. Finding out my dad built an AI where it's illegal in the Milky Way. Everything goes out here. I visited my sister like off camera already. So now we're going back to EOS to look for uh, the missing Ark. Or at least get a, win a whiff of what it's about. Alright, there's like so much uh, stuff you could do in the game just on the on the story mode alone. I'm trying to focus on three things. My dad's history with Sam, finding the arcs, and getting a home for home for everybody here in initiative. I might do some squad some squad things too. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Really? Okay. Lexi, your dad was Turian? That explains so much. What's that supposed to mean? Here we go. You know, how old are you? I am not about the time. Not even 300 years old. But think of us like a patriarch. I'm a doctor. Nothing wrong with the job. They much to say about the facility on Vault. I get you, pal. The name chats are about nothing coming up. Oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. There's not always a solution. We need to be prepared that there might not be. Jarl, remember what we talked about? That we should examine the problem objectively? Excuse me. Grief is never easy. But Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. We don't know that. But I only told Jarl because, like, I need him focused. I don't know if that's mean or not, but hey, I'm gonna do it. We've barely scratched the surface of what Cat are capable of. The Exalted are new beings. It's more than a transformation, it's a birth. There's no going back. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. I know, and you're doing well. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike 
anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course, but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. No Joel's having a bad time with it. I'm going to do it. I've run all the tests. It's non-toxic. If we're going to live here, someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things. Dr. Tapero, please do something. Don't do it, Suvi. You told on me. I thought we were friends. You, sir, are uninvited from all my parties. Jeez, Suvi. Yeah, Cora and Drac. Always nice to have a big dude just with you everywhere. <laughs> to intimidate people. Alright. Let's hit up Eos. Is green. Coordinating, path is calm. started. What's new in our first home? The cats still maintain a presence. Skirmishes are frequent, and travel requires caution. I've got a cure for that. Next. The atmosphere continues to clear, but radioactive hazards pool in some areas. Study is ongoing. And remnant remain active on the surface, but also as detected by seismic readings. Point of contact for all this? Your people, Pathfinder. Prodromos is expanding, with all the trials and discovery that building an outpost represents. Grounded in research. All data about newly accessible EOS is from their work. Well, let's make sure it gets the attention it deserves. Guess we're going in there. that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper, we're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I, watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. I suspected the cat. The evidence pointed to the cat being involved. The way pain is involved when you get burned. What happened? 
The Ked chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. Why were they hunting you? Being hunted by an elite anything isn't fun. What were they after? I don't know. I'm a junior. I just do what they tell me. A bridge officer, Sarissa something, gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. It, it was... Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. We could find anything. Our Tempest is designed to find needles and haystacks. We'll handle this. The ship's called the Paraphona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's good to see the Ket aren't the only ones winning. Right, we got the transponder code. Let's get get back to the ship. Please help. This is the only way I can get the word out before someone gets killed. My work crew, they keep talking about that remnant tech. They think the initiative is lying about how dangerous it is. That a couple of electrodes in the right place could get the remnant to work for them instead. They tried before and it, and I helped out in medbay when those remnant observers carved up Barty, but Jennings says he would he could live like kings if we had an army of remnant bots working and fighting for us. He's taking the whole work crew to help him this time. I have to go with them. Maybe I can talk Jennings out of it, but if I can't, someone should know why we didn't come back. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. I'll hear a stupider idea today, but that's a front runner. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. Normally, I would try to take care of stuff like that, but like I said, we only got. I'm only playing this game for three objectives find the arcs, find a home, and find out what Sam's all about and why all this happened. Yeah, let's go look for this transponder. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Court is looking for you. Of course she is. Yeah? When's the last time you had a normal conversation? They aren't just conquerors. Or slavers. The cat turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. I feel for Joel. That's what Jal faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. You and I can handle things. We got this. We're back to back, shoulder to shoulder. Or whatever you like. Nothing fazes you, does it? You always bounce back, smiling that smile. Like you know it's just what I need. You're fun to tease. It's just so fun to see all the professionalism crack. Keep pushing, handsome. We'll see who cracks first. I wish this could fix everything. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. Plans won't help. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At 
least now we can prepare to fight the cat. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Alright, let's go looking for her. Yeah? When's the last time you had a normal conversation? On this ship is an experiment to you, and I've got no interest in being a guinea pig. Jeez. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, so where? Where's this transponder code? It's back on Vold. Alright, since we're here approach. Since we're here on Volt, might as well take out the Volt. Take care of a couple things. Ooh, they got beryllium. I need some of that. Ooh, and platinum. Oh, this is a good move. Approaching the LZ. Well, it's really brisk out here. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Yeah, let's try to get to a, a heater. Wow. Ooh, what is that? Iridium. Iridium. Temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support restored. Come on, Drac, where you at? You getting long in the chin? Commander who? I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Yeah, I'm reading it too. Sam. mechanic myself build vehicles for my people upload this schematic for your mechanic with my compliments 
They can upgrade your vehicle's shielding once you find the needed components. Hmm. Wow. Thanks. He lives for this shit. It will make his day. My long-lost brother. <laughs> you can find some of what you need here on Vold. The rest, out and about. Man, some of these Vold people, some of these Angara can be fun. They're not funny, but like, cool. Take all. They're not all dramatic like Droll. Jeez. That guy seems to be a, a downer, like every two minutes. Like he's in perpetual depression. Okay, so I know that's kind of like mean because uh, I'm aware that his people are being taken over and then transformed into monsters. And that'll put like anybody, a damper on anybody's day. But come on. Be a med bay. All right, let's not. Let's meet these people and then go find that thing, that place. I keep getting sidetracked because I want to look at everything. Supposed to meet some sort of commander around here? You must be the Pathfinder who saved the Moshai. Yep, that's me. I'm Anyak Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. Good to be here with all your heaters. I appreciate the warm welcome. It's a joke. To break the ice? Get it? Warm welcome? Ice? Call that a joke. Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. Strange jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the Ket. We could certainly use the help. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. Now let's talk strategy. If your current approach isn't working, we'll need to find another one. Our main problem is a lack of fighters. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? Now, tell me about Ephra. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. All right, tell me about the Resistance. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I'll talk to you later. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay, where's the resistance lookout? What up, Joel? I should be going out there with you. Waiting around makes me unhappy. I'll keep my comms open so I can keep up with what you're doing. Sounds good. In the meantime, is there anything I can help with? Tell me a bit about Vold. Tell me more about Vold. Vold is an important planet for my people. Our capital, Estria, is here. We only recently won it back from the Ket, and the city is still rebuilding. For some reason, the Ket now focus their attentions on this part of Vold. That's why the Resistance is set up here. Tell me about the war with the cat. The resistance seems pretty busy here. There must be lots of cat. 
Yes. The Resistance has fought the Keton Fold for a very long time. We used to wonder why there always seemed to be more Ket, no matter how many we killed. Now we know. Our loss is their gain. We'll talk to you later. I have to get going. We'll catch up later. Stay clear, Pathfinder. Hold. 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 You don't win a war without good organization. That's the planet, with everything on it. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Davia Kars, Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. Alright, the Hollow Map, tell me about it. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Techix, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Kenim occupied. And tell me about the Angara cities. The bright spots on the map are those cities. Cities under siege by the Ket, yes. The largest, Destroyer, was our capital. Was? It's hard to think of a city as a capital when it's just a maze of empty streets and burnout buildings. But buildings can be rebuilt. We are more than our cities. Alright, tell me about Dar. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angara who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they'd need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ket are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ket camps. The Ket know this and use it against us. Alright, uh, what's the Astraja? Tell me more about Astraja. Astraja. It's the recent focus of Ket attacks. They think they can break our spirit by tearing down our walls. The Ked learned that we fight to the death, and they would rather we submit. So they destroy our Dara, our homes. They drive us into the cold and expect us to give in. They underestimate the Angara. All right, tell me what the, about the war. How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all Ked operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Nah, uh, nothing right now. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, so, on Vold at least, we got another thing we have to do. Alright, so, we gotta find the transponder for those Asari. We gotta defeat the Ket main base and we gotta like trigger the planet um, rebuilding stage and we gotta do this all in bitter ass cold okay awesome Stars, it's the Pathfinder. We heard about how you punched the cat, punched them right in the exaltations. So amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? Yeah, you're great. The Angara have been wonderful to us, including yourself. So thank you. See, we're building bonds here to seek. So what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Alright, tell me about the red lights. Those red lights? You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. 
There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. How do they live out there? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that, too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. All right, tell me about the alien facility. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. All right, tell me about the Remnant. Do you know of any Remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. Thank you, guys. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care. Stay safe. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Alright, let's map this out. Yeah, we gotta go here. This is definitely where we're going. Then we gotta get these things. And we definitely need to take out that cat base. But first, let's, let's check on these Asari, on the Asari Ark thing. Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. Labor camps? What about the Angara? The Resistance? What's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vold's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. Alright, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Alright, so... Looks like the kit in the Angara are already, like, um... Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Alright, looks like... Life support is stable. Okay, so it looks like the Ket and the Angara are already used to the cold out here. Town Hill's always more fun. Trust me. Please be careful, Ryder. So it seems to me, after we find out the Sasari thing, I should uh, do the vault. Whoa. Following the lights. Whoa. We're out of the worst of it. The temperature should be manageable now. Whoa. Uh-oh. Crash in the car. Crash in the car. Or not. I don't even know what the hell that was out there. Okay. 
Let's get out of here then. Yeehaw! Let's go. Yo, what am I looking at? Cat cap spotted. Since we're on the way, we should go this way. Plus, hit that up. Not trying to hit up any camps that we don't need to hit. Lots of respect for the Angara. The way they fight, <laughs> it's almost Krogan. They're a tough bunch. I wonder if the Angara would let us train with them. I'd like to see their methods. So you seem pretty anti-Nexus, even for a Krogan. That's your job around here. Picking up a faint signal. Looks like a friendly ship. It matches the transponder code for Asari survey vessel, Periphona. That's the ship Hadaria mentioned. We might be close. Must be the cat facility. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. They said it was a golden world. I'm still reeling. Whatever you think of it, this is a beautiful planet. Thinking about a frozen moon I was once stranded on, almost. We saw this area from the lookout post. Let's see if someone here needs help. Well, that's an enormous ice cube. Someone around here probably knows what that ice is for. Ice everywhere, and they hang on to that piece. What's so special about it? Uh, nope. Let's take a look around. I thought we were going to be in combat. Ambient temperature is normal. How's the dick go? We can't get deep enough. Life supports are stored. The ice is too thick. Try asking arm roller back. Alright, you know what? This was a waste of time. Let's I'm not here to help scientists right now later let's go find let's go find these asari Still got a ways. Yo. Uh -oh. My sensors are detecting cat technology, Pathfinder. Maybe we should check it out. We've got targets.
Oh, they hit crap. Oh, they hit me. Get up, Drax. Time to get out of here. Let's. Krogan propping up a bar says she's. Huh. I thought this would be the periphona. Ice or mineral deposits may be reflecting false positives. The real signal must be relatively close. Seriously? Probably gonna be the last one we look for. All right, let's hit this thing up. Yeah. those Angara heaters in here? Nomad's heat isn't doing anything for me. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Right, let's check this one out. Trying to get in the I'd live here, but then I could probably live anywhere. Can you imagine the heating bills if we settled here? Detecting local frequency interference. This could be affecting planetary communications. Let's check it out. Got an empty heat sink, Harper. What for? Plugging a hole in my armor, winds whistling through my nethers. Here, and I don't ever want it back. <laughs> Making note of anything I can see from out here. Entrances, exits, possible weak spots. If there's any way we can help the Angara deal with the cat, we're gonna do it. Get me up there and I'll take those bastards myself. near the area.
top of the place. is all over the place. It's a Karita stance. Classic for Asari commandos, but it's not for everyone. A Krogan. False signal. One down. Uh, all that for nothing. Alright, let's go. And go this way. Fences in place, Pathfinder. That looks like Ket Tech. forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Alright, let's go ahead. Sight ahead, Pathfinder. It could have defenses in place. Weren't you pals with the old human Pathfinder? Was he anything like this one? A bit. Very smart. Kind of grumpy. Great. Always had a plan. Don't think he planned for this much to go wrong, though. Says the source of the periphonus signal. Oh god. And there's Ket on sight. Let's clear them out. Mm, looks like we found it, people. Oh. Take them down hard! Don't you worry!
Nice. Clear. Okay. Must be it. That's the Periphona, all right. What's left of her? Definitely Ket weapons fire. This wasn't just a crash. The Ket pulverized the ship. No survivors. No answers either. Without the crew, we've lost our best lead to the Asari Ark. But this is stupid. If they want Asari for exaltation, why not take the crew alive? The ship was the target. It's like they saw the Periphona itself as a threat. But it's no match for a Ket cruiser. When you're ready for payback, we got something. Looks like a flight recorder. It's in bad shape. But let's see what... Final log. If the Ark ever finds this, we failed. Couldn't draw them off. The data copy's lost. The decimation is too cunning. Forgive us. We tried. The decimation. Hadaria mentioned specialized cat hunters. Maybe that's them. Can't love fancy titles. They've got to be cat with a name like that. I hope they choke on it. Lieutenant, the time the navigational record could be reconstructed. Right. We could trace the Paraphonus flight path. Maybe all the way back to the Ark. I'll take a look when we get back. Still lots to do. Alright, let's get back to the thing. So we don't freeze our bits off. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. I'll talk to you later. See you around the galaxy. Peace.